Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I can't thank you so much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a Monday night edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, where you make the call at 412-575-2600. Hope you're out there watching. Uh, if you happen to be flipping back and forth to the basketball game, that's fine. We have a lot to get into, and we'll start today by letting you know that you can also tweet us at KDPomp at Gene Collier. We are here talking about the sports of the day, beginning with the Pirates, who opened up the season for the Chicago Cubs. It was their home opener in Chicago after they started the season 2-7 and seven on the road. They have one of the most prolific offenses so far after nine games. However, that still produced two wins and seven losses. Why? Because the pitching had an 8.72 ERA coming into this game. Well, guess what today? They shut out the Pirates. Even though John Lester left this game early, 10-0, a dreadful second inning. Gene Collier, outstanding columnist of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, is here. Gene, I want to ask you about that second inning. Mm -hmm. Kevin Newman made three errors in one inning, yeah. and it was two outs, nobody on base. They end up scoring six unearned runs. I mean, I, I can feel for the young man. He gets an opportunity to play, and this okay. is it. And But... That, to me, in a nutshell, is what my concerns are about the Pirates. This defense could let down a starting pitcher to the point where you open up floodgates that they don't deserve. Yeah, I mean, that, I feel bad for Kevin Doom, and I, you know, I don't really know him that well, but I mean, that's just a hard thing to take, especially after you know, he, gets a, he gets a big hit and a walk-off win at home, and then this happens. I mean, it's not his fault that the Cubs scored six times after the error, but he helped them along with his second and third errors. It was just a terrible, terrible day for Kevin Newman. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how he bounces back from it and how the Pirates bounce back from it. It was just one of those crazy, stupid Wrigley Field games. Right. It was, and they've played a lot of crazy, stupid games so far, Chicago. Uh, <laughs> all ten of them have been crazy. So the Pirates dropped to five wins and four losses. Do you take anything out of the fact that they're 5-1 and one against the lowly Reds, but they're 0-3 against the Cardinals and Cubs? No, not at this point. Uh, their ERA against the Cardinals, the, the, the ERA of their starting pitchers was even better against the Cardinals than it was against the Reds. Uh, and Tyone, you know, just was a, a victim of circumstance yeah. today. I, I, I don't put much stock in it. All right, well, they'll have a day off tomorrow, and then they play again Wednesday. In the meantime, Wednesday night is also going to be the game one of the Penguins Islanders series. The Penguins uh, got a point the other night, so their 12 loser points ended up helping them quite a bit as they end up in third place in the division uh, and just four points out of first, but they're in third, which means they have to go to New York. It's an amazing stat to see the New York Islanders have not hosted in terms of home advantage in a playoff series since 1988. It's 31 and Here years. they are, 31 years. Yep. And they're going to get that opportunity, and they're excited. They should be. They haven't seen this yeah, in a while. It's so. going to be a difficult place for the Penguins to play tomorrow and Friday because those people are really excited. They're excited to be playing in Nassau Coliseum in lieu of the Barclays Center where they played half their games this year. That's going to be a really, really hot atmosphere uh, to play a hockey game in. I expect a really long, difficult series for the Penguins yeah. that they'll probably win in seven. I agree it's going to be long and difficult. Some people out there make it sound like the Islanders are just going to be happy to get there. I'm not. They're, they're a good team. Barry Trotz knows how to discipline them. They play four lines. They've got a pretty good goaltending tandem, most shutouts in the NHL. So the question I have for you, Gene, is, you know, if you're the Penguins, the one thing I would be guarded against the most is frustration because they are a team that gets frustrated when things don't go their way at times, right. and they get a little careless with the puck. One of the things New York does well in transition, they're one of the best counterattacking teams in the NHL. That's how they play. They entice you to make a mistake, and then they pounce on it and go the other way. Yeah, the Penguins have to play more patient than they usually play. Uh, they have to be very careful moving the puck through uh, the neutral zone. The Islanders tend to bunch up along the, on the blue line there. Um, and, you know, that's probably not the way the Penguins want to play, but they can play that way. Uh, the Penguins are very versatile. And sometimes you don't realize it because they're, they're a little bit impatient. But they can play that way. And in my view, that's the way they should play against the Islanders. All right. The Penguins are going to look for similar stuff that they've had from Jake Gensel, who is one of the best, most prolific goal scorers in the postseason. He's played in 37 games. He's ahead of a guy named Rocket Richard when it comes to goals per game in the playoffs. 
Uh, it's going to be an interesting series, and we'll see how it goes. The other one, of course, would be Washington hosting Carolina. Those jerks are at it again, and they get into the postseason. We'll see what they can do. In the meantime, we take your calls. This is also Masters Week. I'll get Gene's prediction on that. Sure. Who will wear the green jacket? At the very end of the week, I have my thoughts as well. 412-575-2600. We'll be back with more of your calls and emails right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter.